Moving on, viewers, we have some more breaking news coming in from Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, crackdown on terrorism. So, notice was put outside two absconding terrorists' house. Now, SIA warning to terrorists, uh, the notice... Uh, issued to these terrorists are uh, the police wants them to surrender by October 3rd. So this is the latest, latest breaking news that we are bringing to you right now from the state of Jammu and Kashmir. In a bid to on a crackdown on terrorism, the, a notice was issued outside two absconding terrorists' house and uh, a SIA warning to these terrorists and according to the notice, they are asked to surrender by October 3rd. So this is the latest breaking news that we are bringing to you right now from Jammu and Kashmir. Now for more on this, let me go across to my colleague Kulpri, uh, I beg your pardon, Pradeep, who joins us live. Pradeep, uh, according to this notice, we are learning that these terrorists are asked to surrender by October 3rd and a notice is also put outside their home. What is, uh, what is more that we are gathering on this? See, that, that uh, Jammu and Kashmir security agencies are acting tough on uh, narco-terrorism. This, uh, this is a part of crackdown because uh, they have posted, uh, they have pasted the poster outside the homes of the Saftar Hussain as well as Liaquat. They are said to be the narco-terrorists and they are absconding. And uh, as per the notice, they have been asked to surrender by October 3. If they fail to do so, their property will be confiscated because these two people, they are said to be part of the drug syndicate that is being operating from across the border. And they are part of that smuggling racket that gets uh, drugs from this side of the border along with drugs they also are getting on that ammunition. And mostly this, uh, they're using the line of control route in push from where they used to get drugs. And finally, whatever money is generated after the sale of the drug that is used again for terror funding to lure youngsters and also to target uh, youngsters so that they get addicted to uh, these narcotics. And finally, they, uh, they are uh, indoctrinated, brainwashed, and again used for the terror-related activities. So that's one of the reasons that the security agencies are not taking it lightly, because in the past also we have seen that many of those people have already been apprehended. But these two people who are said to be absconding and right now, so message has been sent loud and clear to all these people who are involved in narco-terrorism, that if you will not surrender or you will not leave this thing, then the action will be initiated. It is not that we'll make uh, you only suffer, we'll also make your family members suffer for that, because but only then you are going to learn a lesson because once your property will be confiscated, seized, only then right. you, you will realize how tough the government can act. So it's a kind of a surgical strike on narco terrorism from the government side where they are trying to act tough and send a message out in clear that they are not right. going to tolerate such kind of activities. All right, Pradeep, many thanks for joining us live and giving us all those important details related to this breaking news.